Hey everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to optimize your PPC campaigns with Celix. The PPC manager in Celix will help you with three aspects easier campaign optimization, easier reporting and analytics, and if desired, automation. This tutorial will be about the optimize feature, while you will find further material and videos about the analyze and automate section in our knowledge base at help.celix.com. After you integrate with Amazon's Advertising API, you will start off with two months of historical PPC data, and that history will of course continue to grow as your account remains active. Celix will receive your newest PPC data daily overnight, and you won't need to download any Celix Central reports anymore. The first thing you'll see in the Optimize section is a summary of your account's entire PPC performance. So you'll have the revenue, ad spend, profit, the advertising cost of sales, and a few other key metrics. To get a quick glance at how these numbers have developed over time, you can either show all metrics down here, or analyze two KPI trends more closely on the right side to see if there is any trend that you should react to. For example, you may want to look at ad spend and impressions to ensure the impressions are actually going up with more money being spent. You may also want to compare the ad spend to clicks because again, the more money you spend, the more clicks you would expect. So as you can see, it's very easy to compare any metrics here to quickly check if you're on the right track. Further below you'll see all active campaigns as well as pause campaigns which generated data within a selected time frame. You can enable, pause or archive campaigns directly within Celix. This magic wand will tell you if it's an automatic campaign, while the green little person stands for manual campaigns. Additionally, these blue bolts indicate that you have an active automation rule running for that campaign, but more on that later. Of course, if you'd like to create a new campaign or ad group, you can also do this directly within Celix. Now then, typically you'll want to sort the table by a key metric such as ACUS, and then drill into these campaigns. On the campaign level, you'll want to do the same and check out the respective ad groups which most require your attention. At this point, you'll see the keywords, and if you wish, the search terms for that respective ad group. If you're confronted with a huge list of keywords, you'll want to use our filters at the top. For example, tell Celix to show you keywords of an ACUS of at least 40%, and to make that number relevant, also filter only for keywords with 5 or more clicks. Alternatively, you can also use our predefined smart filters. As you can see, we've managed to find out the keywords that are hurting us in this ad group in only a few seconds. If you deem those keywords to be irrelevant to your product, you can now simply select all of them and add them as negative keywords, either in this ad group only, or across all of your ad groups with the blacklist option. A less drastic approach for more or less relevant keywords would be to reduce their bits, typically by around 20 to 30%. On the right side of each keyword, Celix will keep track of your former bit changes in the past 60 days, so you can immediately see how often you've already given the keyword another chance to prove itself to become profitable with a lower bit. Next to each keyword you'll also see whether it's broad, phrased, or exact. While in the search terms tab, Celix will tell you if a specific search term already has a matching negative keyword so that you know it's already taken care of. If needed, you can also export the data at the top of each table. Apart from quickly reducing your PPC costs by easily identifying and managing harmful keywords, you will of course also want to work on increasing your impressions and sales. For this, there are three main aspects. Number one, find as many relevant keywords as possible. A lot of sellers will basically use automatic campaigns to let Amazon find new search terms. Additionally, we recommend researching keywords beforehand, for example with our free keyword research tool Sonar, or in the respective products dashboard in Celix, for which you'll also find a separate video below and in our knowledge base. Aspect number two is controlling the individual bits of all of your keywords depending on their profitability. As you don't need Amazon to find those researched keywords anymore, you should put all of those keywords as negative exact into your automatic campaign so that they won't generate costly clicks. Remember, automatic campaigns only have search terms and no keywords, so you would not be able to reduce or increase bits of individual keywords here. 
This is also why you should always promptly add new keywords from your automatic campaigns as negatives and move them to your broad campaigns. With Incelix, you can do this in one swoop. This way, Amazon will still find new similar search terms, but won't show products in those campaigns for these exact search terms. Instead, you can add those researched keywords to your manual campaigns and have control over their individual bids. Number three, keeping it organized and focusing on profitable keywords. The end goal for each product should be to have at least one exact ad group, which only includes a list of highly relevant and profitable keywords. For this exact ad group, you could, for example, raise your daily budget significantly in order to safely generate a lot more impressions and sales. Typically, most products will have around 20 to 50 of these kind of highly relevant keywords. As with the automatic campaigns, you'll also want to tag those keywords as negative exact in any broad or phrase ad groups. This way, each keyword is only promoted via one ad group, which makes for a better organization and easier performance analysis later on. Back in the ad group tab, if you're looking for some suggestions, they will be offered for each manual ad group. For each of those suggestions, you can check the question mark on the right to see how and why they are provided. Also in the ad group tab, let me just point you towards the option of entering your ad group's target ACUS in order to visualize how far off the actual ACUS is from your target. Of course, you'll find some useful material in our FAQs about the ACUS and setting your target ACUS. If you have several ad groups, you can also use the upload feature at the top of the table. Entering your target ACUS not only lets you check if you're on track of your targets, but more importantly, you'll also be able to use the target ACUS in the conditions of your automation rules. Apart from checking our FAQ videos, feel free to join us in our free, weekly, and interactive webinar specifically on PPC automation to learn how to make the most of this feature. On a final note, you can easily see how all of your manual or automated changes are affecting your campaigns in the Analyze tab. And that's it for now. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We hope this was helpful and as always, wish you great success on Amazon.